Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm going to be checking out the Comica STM-01 Studio Vocal Condenser Cardioid Microphone. So the company reached out to me, sent this over. I'm excited to try this because this is going to be the first microphone that is geared more towards professionals. And with this, I actually had to buy the Phantom Power for it. So my Blue Yeti up here, I mean, it just connects to the PC and it's good to go. So this is going to have more power going to it. Um, and with this, what I usually like to do is we're going to unbox this thing and then I'm going to cut over to B-roll because I want to actually use this microphone to do the voiceover. And then at that point, we're going to talk a lot more about the specs, which they actually have listed on the back, by the way. I like when companies do that. But let's get this thing open here. All right. So that is going to be it right there. So we have a carrying sleeve for it, like that, and really good quality with the material here. Then we have the user manual, and then inside here we're going to have the bracket that the microphone is actually going to sit in. This will attach to my actual stand, my arm over here that I have. Let's get that out. And then this is going to be it, right there. That looks really cool. Like just in terms of the aesthetics, it's a really good design. I like that. I'm wondering why they chose this coloring. I'd say I'd probably like to see multiple options perhaps, because they didn't see options with this, so maybe black, but I still like the look. It's just not gonna fit necessarily with the rest of my build in terms of the black. And so it is going to look different compared to the stand here. At least you'll get that contrast with that. And then, another nice touch, we have the pop filter right here with their logo. And I like that it comes with this. And I also like this versus, let me bring my Yeti over here, where this has to like wrap around. This is going to be so much nicer that it just sits right here. So excited to try that out, see how it works. And then that looks to be it. So from here, the way this is gonna work, I'm going to get this all set up and then talk over B-roll. And like I said, I'm going to talk about the specs with this and go kind of in depth with what they have here and the information on the back of the box. But you guys get to actually hear what this sounds like. I usually try, not to manipulate anything other than making sure that the decibels are, go are going to be even and similar to what I'm doing here. So I don't want them to peak crazy high, obviously, but I'll make sure that I actually kind of put on screen what they're peaking at and the range that I'm looking at. So let's go ahead and cut over and talk about the specs with this. So getting into the specs here, the acoustic principle is a condenser. The polar pattern is cardioid. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Output impedance is 100 ohms. Sensitivity is negative 32 decibels plus or minus two decibels at one kilohertz. Equivalent noise is five dBA. Maximum output is plus 13.7 dBU. Dynamic range is 132 decibels. Maximum SPL is 137 decibels. Signal slash noise is 89 decibels. Power 48 volt slash 24 volt phantom power output three pin xlr interface dimensions 125 by 180 by 230 millimeters net weight is 680 grams working temperature is 0 to 50 degrees celsius so what i've been recording right now is just the microphone so i'm not doing any type of noise reduction via premiere pro or what i'm about to do right now is actually rtx voice so if you are a streamer and you have a 2000 series nvidia card you can use rtx voice which just helps to eliminate any type of ambient noise that the microphone may be picking up on so let's go ahead and click over to that right now so what's interesting about RTX voice, which is what I'm using right now, is just how powerful it is when it can actually eliminate background ambient noise. There's videos on YouTube with guys with vacuums, with leaf blowers that they're running next to the mic, and the mic is really only picking up on their voice. So with this, 
there's more clarity. Now, every now and then it's not perfect, so it may break up a little bit, but it works incredibly well. Now with this, I'm really surprised at how well this works right out of the box. So without RTX voice on, the low hum that you typically hear with microphones is very, very minimal. So adding on the RTX voice is gonna reduce that even further. And like I said, if you have ambient noise that's really, really loud, it will help eliminate that, that the mic isn't gonna do on its own. But the clarity with this mic right out of the box is extremely good. This is for sure going to be my daily driver here. So let's go ahead and use RTX Voice right now though to talk about the features that are listed on the back of the box. So this is a 34 millimeter gold plating large diaphragm condenser mic for studio quality audio, super low self noise and distortion, extended dynamic range and high SPL for ideal vocal recording, support for a 24 volt slash 48 volt phantom power, detachable pop shield designed to efficiently filter airflow, special shock mount designed to efficiently eliminate vibration noise, and metal housing for excellent shielding. So my initial impressions, I am extremely impressed with this. I love the pop shield here. I like that you can actually just flip it down and you can move it out of the way. The adjustments that you can make to the mic also with the shock mount with the swivel arm that I have here is much better than my Yeti also. So overall, I'm just extremely pleased with this. I do want to note that for this portion, I'm actually utilizing the Premiere Pro software to do noise reduction. So now you can actually compare all of these just to see but I think right out of the box this thing sounds phenomenal so of course this is geared towards audio professionals but I mean if you have a podcast this is something to look into if you're a streamer and you want a really good quality mic I think this is an a, a great option but keep in mind the price point is a little bit higher Yetis you can get usually around a hundred hundred and twenty dollars this one's gonna be 170 but you may find deals on Amazon where you can get a discount code so that is something to keep an eye out for so for me personally I do streaming here on the channel so I do a lot of YouTube content centered around video games and tech so this is going to be my daily driver like I said this by the way is just pure from the microphone so there's no RTX there's no adaptive noise reduction with this and if you go back through and try to kind of listen for the differences it's very minimal like I said this is just a very very good mic I'm extremely happy with this I think the aesthetics are on point. I think the adjustments that I can make to the shock mount with this and to the pop filter are great. So much better than what I had going on with my Yeti. The sound quality is amazing. I am just overall really, really pleased with this thing. So that's going to wrap this video up, everybody. I'm gonna have a link for this in the description if you wanna check this out for yourself. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.